Hello, the YouTube community. It's a very, very cool community. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here in the cold Davos, Switzerland. Uh, we're here at the World Economic Forum. I'm a young global leader. Uh, my name is, I'm sorry, I'm a member of the Young Global Leaders. We will not want to suggest that I am a leader. Um, here at the, at the WEF. My name is John Hope Bryant, and I'm the founder of Operation Hope, which is America's first nonprofit social investment bank. Uh, I'm also vice chairman of the President's Council on Financial Literacy in the United States. Uh, it was executed uh, by the President on this past Tuesday, which specifically speaks to the question, what's the one thing that the that companies, that governments, that uh, organizations, that individuals like you uh, can do to make the world a a better place. I believe that one person can change the world. Uh, and when you think about people who change the world, with all due respect to all the great people who are here, many of those people had no titles. Um, uh, Jesus Christ was a carpenter. Uh, Mother Teresa was a nurse. Uh, you know, uh, Nelson Mandela from 27 years was a prisoner. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was uh, a Southern preacher. Uh, my friend Andrew Young, my mentor, a civil rights leader and a reverend. But one person changed the world. So what's the one thing that we should do? What's the one thing we could do? I think we need to move from civil rights to silver rights. I think that, that we need to empower people. It's not to give them a handout, but a hand up. To not focus, uh, as a lot of philanthropy is on, and a lot of government services are focused on giving a man a fish, but teach him how to fish. Uh, I remember Martin Luther King Jr. told uh, Andrew Young a, a story that really wasn't made public back then. It wasn't politically correct. He was on the Jericho Road in Israel, and the media kept saying, Martin, you remind me of the Good, the good, the good Samaritan on the, on the Jericho Road. And Dr. King said to Andrew Young, he said, Andy, we need Good Samaritans. I respect Good Samaritans. I, I want a Good Samaritan to be in my community, but I don't want to be a Good Samaritan. The Jericho Road is dangerous. I don't want to pick up my people sitting like a victim, sitting on the edge of the Jericho Road anymore. We need to fix the Jericho Road. We need to pay the Jericho Road. We need to put street lights up along the Jericho Road. We need to build community development and home ownership and small business and entrepreneurship along the Jericho Road. We need to create entrepreneurs and educated people along the Jericho Road. Andy, we need to fix the Jericho Road. And when he was killed, Dr. King was killed in 68, April of 68, he was focused on the Poor People's Campaign. And that was about poor whites. There's more poor whites in America than poor anybody else. Poor blacks, poor Latinos, poor Asians, poor Indians, poor African Americans, uh, 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 poor Latinos, moving them all up the economic ladder. Because he, he, and he said this in 68, you cannot legislate goodness and you cannot pass a law to force someone to respect you. The only way to social justice in a capitalist country is economic parity, ownership. There's nothing more appropriate than this Davos conversation than, t than, than looking at the least of these God's children. Looking at the fact that we integrated the lunch counter in 68, 63, 1960 in the U.S., but ne we never integrated the dollar or the euro uh, or the Zen dollar, whatever it is, the currency you're dealing with, the Swiss franc. And so I think that the thing that we can do is to teach people about civil rights, teach them about financial literacy, teach them about free enterprise and capitalism and ownership. If you're living in a little shanty town in uh, South Africa, you're living in Alexandria uh, uh, in South Africa, you don't have running water, you don't have, uh, uh, you don't have lights, uh, you don't even have uh, solid walls, but on every street corner is a black woman doing hair. That's an entrepreneur. Uh, on every corner, in, uh, in every block, there is a little kiosk selling cell phone, uh, cell phones and cell phone uh, minutes by little cards that have cell phone minutes on it. Those are, those are entrepreneurs. We are natural entrepreneurs. Uh, poor people are natural entrepreneurs. People don't realize that Sam Walton, Walmart, was a uneducated, poor white male from the South who realized that poor people wanted good products at a, at a good price. And, and voila, now you have the largest retailer in the world. Poor people have made most of the fortunes in the world. We've got to stop making fortunes in the back of poor people and start making fortune developers out of poor people. And I think that's something that all of us can do. Teach financial literacy. Teach dignity. Uh, go in your community and, and understand you cannot be a leader unless you're prepared to serve. All around this world, we got to continue the work that Dr. King began and launch a global civil rights movement. If we do that, you don't have to worry about more aid for South Africa because you're giving people a hand up. It's our Africa, the African continent, or Latin America, or, or the poor places in Asia, 
uh, or play, poor places in Latin America, the six billion people on this planet, three half of which are living on a dollar a day. You know, that's not sustainable. It's not dignity. It's not what we deserve. What people want is an opportunity to succeed or fail on their own merit. And if you want to feel good about yourself, help somebody help themselves. And if we do that, if we create a generation of entrepreneurs in Africa, they'll become taxpayers, they'll become job producers, and Africa will not be the dark continent. It'll be a place of opportunity and prosperity because it is an amazing, beautiful place that will take its place as one of the leaders in the 21st century, and you can help make that reality. Everybody can make a difference. You be that one person. Bye.